Hello, welcome to Ellie Mae Toys. Today I am going to answer the age old question which nobody has ever asked because quite honestly nobody really cares, but I'm still gonna do it. What would the Lego Friends girls look like if they were the Lego Friends boys? That's not really very catchy, is it? Could we call it Lego Friends versus Lego guys? But maybe Lego dudes, Lego bros. Oh, let's go with Lego bros. All right, so let's meet our first contestant, Emma, say hi to Emma, everybody. Emma loves all artistic things. If it is art, then she loves it. She loves walks on the beach in the moonlight. She likes fruity mocktails on the front of the dolphin cruiser. She adores cats. In fact, Emma has told us that there is a very good chance that she will be a crazy cat lady at some stage in the future. She is also charmingly vague, and that's one of the many reasons why we love her. So let's take these many wonderful attributes and turn Emma into Emmanuel. Emmanuel, that'll work. Okay, so we are going with a casual look for Emmanuel today. He's wearing his flip-flops and his cut-off three-quarter length pants. And for his top, he is he's perfectly attired for those walks along the beach that Emma likes so much. Now, Emma has got dark brown eyes. This is where I have some problems because the only male faces with dark brown eyes are Flynn, and I just don't think that Flynn has the right look for Emma. The goatee just doesn't work. Or we could choose Steve. Does Emma need a beard in her male form? I just don't think so. That's a big no from me. So from the limited choices that we have, this is the head we are going with for Emmanuel. We've got some light brown eyes and some black swishy hair. And I think that this is the best that we're going to be able to achieve when we're turning Emma into a manual. So, have we achieved bro status? Is that a big thumbs yeah. up for the bro or is it a big thumbs down? Oh. No, you're going to have to let me know in the comments. Did we do okay with our Lego bro for Emma? But don't go away because our next contestant is just coming up. These two are going to go and hang out with the cats while we bring in our next contestant. Where is she? Oh, here she comes. It's Stephanie. Say hi, everybody. Actually, I don't know whether she's saying hi to us or we're saying hi to her. Haven't we just all say hi? That's perfect. Now, what do we know about Stephanie? She is incredibly athletic. She loves all things sport. And she is also incredibly competitive. So, athletic, competitive, blonde blue eyes what do we have how are we going to turn stephanie into a bro let's see well blue eye choices we've got stephanie's dad and his eyes are just a, they're kind of a gray blue and for starters that would just be wrong so no uh we could also choose prince eric uh, he has blue eyes and we could choose henry's head oh who else have we got to choose from oh we've got the beast now i know we could use the beast head because it has blue eyes but the beast in prince form has got blue eyes but ah ginger eyebrows so that's not gonna do so i'm sorry but you are eliminated from this competition and we've got this guy whose name i can't remember uh he came in i think the dolphin cruiser did he or uh, i don't even know whether he's got the same hair but anyway we've got this this face here i don't know that any of these are going to work so let's remove all of these guys and let's just get some clothes happening so we are going with a sporty athletic outfit so a snowboarding outfit i think is going to be a good start and this head which is actually from the flash is full of character i think <laughs> that, a, that a teen boy version of Stephanie is going to work perfectly with this. Now, do we want the spiky hedgehog hair or do we want the blonde swishy hair? I, I, I'm not certain which I prefer, so let's try them out. Oh, and I forgot to give Stephanie a bro name. Let's go with uh, Steve. Steven. Stephanie Steven. That's perfect. Okay, so Steven with the spiky hair. Oh, actually, it looks quite good like that. I think he might have used all of the hair wax. So quite a product user when he's got that hair. Or is he going to have the blonde swooshy hair? Which will also need quite a lot of product to maintain that style, which is, you know, the perfectionist trait is Stephanie's trait too. So Stephanie to Stephen, how did we go? Do we have a yeah. thumbs up bro or do we have a thumbs down? Oh. Oh, let me know in the comments. I actually, I personally am quite happy with this one. So let's move Stephen and Stephanie over here. They can they can argue over who gets the trophy. And let's bring in our next contestant. Who's next? We've only got five to choose from. So who's our next Lego friends to be broified? Totally made that up. Uh, it's Mia. 
so Mia, ah, Mia presents some challenges. So Mia now has got red hair, bright red hair. And in my collection of short hairstyles, I have got, let's see, I've got green, I have got blue, I have even got, oh, I've got gray, I've got a bald cap here. Oh, and I've got orange for a Hercules hair, which would have been, I think that would look quite good, but no red. Oh, hold on, here's some red. Nope, that's not red. That is actually just a bandana on black hair. I don't know that a male red hair piece actually exists. So we are going to dispense with this hair. We're going to put on her old hair color. So she's got that ready Albany brown color, which we can match a bit better. Now, she actually has a brother. She has Daniel. And as you can see, they're treating each other just the way siblings do in a loving fashion. Right, now that they're done with that, let's take a look at the two of them. Now, in a perfect world, I could have just broified Mia straight into Daniel. I mean, they have the same sort of attributes. They both love outdoors. Both got the same kind of sign kind of coloring. But hello, of course, he's not going to have the same eye color, is he? So we're going to need to look for some green eyes. So what do we have? So this is Olivia's dad, Peter. He has got green eyes, but I just don't think that Mia is ready to have stubble yet. So he can head back home. He can keep his head, his head back home. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's do this. So let's take Daniel's clothes because they are going to work perfectly for Mia, should I say, Mitchell. And for the head, I actually liked Farron's expression from the Lego Elves. So I erased the markings from the side. And even though the eyes aren't the right shade of green, I just like the fact that we had a bit of expression here because Mia is full of character. So this is what we're going with for Mitchell, the Lego bro, our new Lego bro. So you tell me, I think they're quite pleased with each other. You tell me though, is this yeah. a thumbs up bro or is it a thumbs down? Oh. No, this is what the comments are for guys. Let me know what you think. And let's move these two over here and let's bring in our next contestant. Who shall it be? Oh, the crowd goes wild for Andrea because she's our next contestant now, Andrea. Andrea is, she is the performing queen. She loves everything to do with performance and she loves costume design. And in fact, she's really thrilled with the new hat that I just gave her, which looks like a lampshade. And she's actually not thrilled with that. So let's, uh, let's see. So to make Andre our new Lego bro, we're gonna go a little bit extra. So he's gonna have some boots with puffy pants tucked into them. And of course they're gunmetal gray because if your pants aren't shiny, then are you really trying? I don't think so. So he's got a sleeveless shirt on to show his skinny arms off to uh, perfection. And I found him ahead with some brown eyes, so they're not as dark brown as they should be, but this is the only choice that I have. And for hair, this hair would actually be perfect to, to broify Andrea into Andre, but it's so boring. I mean, we are going extra here, people. So delete that hair and we will insert this hair. So this is our bro Andre's hair of choice. In fact, now he's a DJ. So so, oh, this has just become absurd. <laughs> so Lego bro Andre is a DJ, which means he needs a DJ name. And you have to tell me what that's going to be in the comments because I have no idea. Right. Okay. I actually also think that this has gone okay, but you need to let me know. Is it yeah. thumbs up bro or is it thumbs down? Oh. No, for our new bro Andre. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I like his new hat though. I don't know that he does. <laughs> we can go and hang out over with the crazy cat. And let's invite our last contestant, Olivia, in. Olivia is a tech whiz and a gadget guru. She loves all the latest technology. This one looks like the latest iPhone. <laughs> and she loves anything that she can tinker with and make it function better. Now, to broify Olivia is a massive challenge, not because of her personality traits, but because the only other boy mini doll with her skin tone is Aladdin. And there is no way that that Aladdin is the bro version of Olivia. I'm so sorry, Aladdin, but you're going to have to go. So we're just going to disregard skin tone for Olivia's broification. Now, eye color. She also has got those dark brown eyes. Uh, oh, we got Flynn, we got Steve. Once again, their eyes are too dark and they got too much facial hair. So they need to go too. So to turn Olivia into Oliver, we are going to start with these cute little ankle pants, which are very cool. I think she would wear tight, tight pants and <laughs> with a jacket top. Totally. 
This is totally what she would wear as a guy. And f there are no male mini dolls with glasses. So we are gonna use the Harry Potter head that I painted and Olivia, no, Oliver now has a very trademarkable scar. Hmm. Let's try and hide that with some hair. Maybe she would have this crazy mad genius hair. She could if we angled it like that. <laughs> she could totally, oh sorry, he could totally rock that hair. Or maybe he could have the spiky hedgehog hair. I actually think the spiky hedgehog hair goes okay for Oliver. I actually think that's really adorable. <laughs> so Olivia is now our new bro Oliver. Is it a thumbs up yeah. bro or is it a thumbs down oh. bro for Oliver? <laughs> You've got to let me know in the comments. Okay, so oh, I got this hair piece. This could hide that scar very effectively as well as Oliver's entire face. That's too much facial hair. In fact, it's as though we kind of just turned Olivia's hairpiece around backwards. Now I can't get it off again. There we go. All right. So there you have it, folks. This is what the Lego friends could have looked like if they were dudes or if they were our new Lego bros. <laughs> I actually think it is time to wake up from this crazy dream now. So when I snap my fingers, you are going to remember to subscribe and like this video. Ooh, now on the count of three. One, two, three.